Hey YouTube, so today we are going to be trying to swap out this old motherboard. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to work. Um, I know the rear I.O. obviously won't work, but um, as the R210 did, um, and I believe it's a power supply issue, um, I'm going to try to put this motherboard in here. We're going to see how it goes, you know, how far we can get, if it's feasible, um, or whatever, or if it's more worth it to buy another machine or whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm going to uh, take the motherboard out of this and see uh, if it's standard mounting or whatever. Um, so this is it with the uh, everything taken out. Um, it's quite dirty, um, so I'll have to give it like a wipe down. Um, I might actually take everything out of it, um, considering how dirty it is, and just give it all a, a good rinse under the tap and dry it and stuff. Um, but first we've got to see if the motherboard fits in here. So um, I'm actually going to continue taking stuff out and I'm going to take out this and this. Um, and yeah, just see if it does. So we'll get back to you when I do. Um, so yes, everything does kind of line up. This audio thing is a little bit too tall and it's actually lifting up the board off the ground. But I don't think it's going to hurt it that much. Um, yeah, it's just... Really fitting in there. Um, but yeah, so um, if this works, this has got uh, one of the, uh, it's the special processing thing that PFSense now stupidly requires. Oh my word. That annoys me so much because my R210 wouldn't be able to handle it, which is one of the reasons I want to um, not really up just fix the power supply in it. Because, uh, you know, then as soon as the, uh, I think it's 2.5 comes out, that I wouldn't be able to run the R210 anyway. Um, but yeah, so this is good news. Um, I don't really need an IO plate. Um, not too fussed about it. Also, I have enough of these machines that if I really did want one, um, I could just cut it, cut, cut one off. But uh, I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, so yeah, uh, this hole lines up. This hole, this hole, this hole, and that hole line up. But um, that hole um, doesn't line up. Um, yeah, and that hole. So, yeah, it's obviously made for an ATX motherboard, and this is a mini ATX. So, uh, but, you know, it's all right. Um, I've got to see if this heatsink fits on there, because um, they're different sockets. But, don't know. I don't have that much experience with computer hardware, and I don't know what socket that is. Um, so yeah, we'll also be going from DDR2 to DDR3, and I believe that's only 2 gigs in that machine, and this is 4 gigs. So, um, I'll probably take out some and stick it in the free NAS. So yeah, I'll get back to you when I've checked everything out, see, see what's up with it, and then, uh, yeah. So I've got the motherboard in, oh, I was just playing with this. Oh, this is a dead nick, um, I was just seeing the fit and everything. But, um, power cable. Uh, um, in there. I'll switch the screen to the VGA. And we'll try and start this up. So it's... There we go. Um, so, yeah. The noise in these machines is really that fan um those fans are so noisy um you can also see so i can't put the top on today because uh that heat sink sticks up way more than the top but um yeah um there you go i think uh is it this video cable that's got the broken pin in it uh something's broken a bit where it's uh gone blue um, um, sweet, so it all boots up, it's all fine, uh, it just doesn't have a disc to boot off. So, um, I'm going to probably throw a couple of 250 gig hard drives in here, and, um, whack PFSense on them. And this will be our new PFSense, uh, thing, which is great, it's a i5-650. Uh, which is two cores, four threads at 3.2 gigahertz, I think. 
so you know more than enough for any kind of thing that I'll throw at it um, you know I'm not doing 10 gig into VLAN routing maxing it out or any any nonsense like that um, so yeah um, so problems we still need to solve with this though is uh, lower profile fan um, heatsink combo uh, um, and then we also need oh what was it oh yes this front panel this is the thing that sits behind all these buttons um, so uh, I've found a pinout online for this but um, I need some jumper cables to uh, uh, sorry make that work um, because obviously this is not the same <laughs> so yeah we've got to do that um, but apart from that I think we this has been very successful um, and we'll soon have our router the main router back up and running so yeah um, I'm just gonna throw some hard drives in there and then uh, get back to you um, so we've got both hard drives installed um, I'm not gonna do a PFSense install this video but um, yeah, so this machine will end up probably, with, depends how much extra RAM I've lying around, um, if it's 2 or 4, but uh, it's got 260 watt power supply, um, i5, 650, dual 250 gig, uh, 7200 RPM, old Seagate hard drives, um, yeah, uh, and that's pretty much it, so I've got to get some jumper wires, lower heat sink, and we'll be all set. So uh, yeah, if you did enjoy this video, um, thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Um, subscribe if you want to see more like this. Um, I'm working on uh, several of the lab rebuild uh, software kind of videos. Um, they're just requiring a lot of editing. Uh, but they'll be up hopefully sometime soon. So uh, keep an eye out for them. Um, and yeah, see you next time.